Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Vivek Ramaswamy, and I want to talk about the end of the SAG AFTRA strike. Um, SAG AFTRA is a bunch of, it's literally two, two acronyms slammed together. I'm just going to say Hollywood actors, right? Uh, I think that's a, a better term and, you know, gives a better understanding of who was striking. So the Hollywood writer, so basically, um, and in this video, I think, you know, the summary of where I'm going is, I think there was a huge opportunity missed by Vivek Ramaswamy specifically by not getting on the front lines of this, not being engaged with the Hollywood actors, not being engaged with the Hollywood studio executives. And, uh, and honestly, I, I really think there was this huge opportunity where Vivek Ramaswamy really should have been right on the front lines, just literally talking directly to the people who were doing the striking, talking with them as this went forward, but not not from the perspective that you might think, like, oh, he, he's going to be there to support the strikers. No, I, I don't think that's the case. I think he should have been on the front lines. Um, and if Vivek Ramaswamy, a major, you know, a actually, to me, actually, I think Vivek Ramaswamy is the frontline candidate right now tied with Nikki Haley. I think Donald Trump has completely removed himself by communicating to the world that he's not ready for a hard conversation, let alone four more years of presidency. I don't think any, you know, basically we learned in 2016 that polls are worthless, right? Like, so the, the polls say that Donald Trump's doing great. Problem is Donald Trump absolutely destroyed a candidate that said the polls the polls would beat him, which was Hillary Clinton. Now, um, it, it is amazing. Now Donald Trump is the Hillary Clinton, right? Polls are saying he's out ahead. He's not ahead, right? I'd, like nobody's going to elect a guy who can't show up for a conversation for a hard conversation and do what he did in 2016 when they know he can't do it now, and they know it because they're looking at the other ADL president and basically. And 80 year old presidents aren't ready for debate. They're not even ready to finish paragraphs, right? Like this, this is what we know, right? There's, you know, this is where we've landed. This is the understanding, right? This is our reality very clearly, right? So, so basically, Vivek Ramaswamy had this opportunity to go out and talk with the Hollywood actors and say, you know, listen, don't you guys think it's time to get back to work? Because every single month that this extends, there's going to be a huge blackout of content for the American people. And the American people are literally, you know, are gaining sustenance, uh, emotional sustenance through your content. And, and you know, do you have any concern at all for the American people that they're not going to have any significant stories or, um, you know, new, fresh art to to engage with, right? And I think he should have put that question to the Hollywood actors because the reality is the strike is over, but, and he's, and, and again, asterisk, is it over, right? They have a tentative agreement, which may or may not get signed. I was skeptical when I heard the tentative agreement for the writers, but that did seem to hold, right? So that's good. Um, so basically where we land is you got this situation where there was this huge opportunity for Vivek to stop just running around the country doing the same stump speech talking to the same um, mainstream media talking heads getting terrible questions and he had a chance to change the narrative and show up on the scene of an, of an American emergency and he didn't do it he, he just didn't do it right he, he, he he just continued to go around the country repeating his stump speech. He never talked to the Hollywood actors directly. He never talked to the Hollywood executives directly. And one of the problems here is I think increasingly America is like, and like the Democrats have been here for a long time. They want government and everything, right? And I think we as Republicans, we need to realize it's the, it, 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 government and everything is just the reality of the day. The question is, what does the government involve itself in and how does it change things for the better, right? Because the reality is the strike's over, but we have this deep abyss of black, dark void. Months and months and months of no new movies, 
no new shows coming through. And it is, and, and I, I truly believe it is going to be staggeringly damaging to the American psyche at a level no one expects. No one expects. And I think there's going to, and actually, well, Vivek is already talking about it. He's talking about the nation being in a national depression, not a economic depression, but a depression of the spirit, depression of the mind, depression of the heart. And it is going to intensify dramatically as the world that the Hollywood actors build by, by making the strike go on for months, months, right? We are just now going to see that boy, right? And it is it is going to be devastating. And so I'm very sad. I think there was a huge opportunity for Vivek Ramaswamy to say, "I'm going to be a man of action. I'm going to be on, I'm going to be on the emergency front line." Now I hear you. you're like Scott. No candidate did this. Vivek isn't a regular candidate. He is truly the hope of America. And I, I really am very disappointed that he didn't take action to move on this. I think it would have been a huge opportunity. I think it would have been much better handled. And I really think um, we would have been in a better state. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.